dear students welcome to my classroom in previous part you learned about the equations which are which can be reduced into pair of linear equations and also you learned how to solve them and solved some problems in exercise 4.3 and in this class we are going to solve some more problems in the exercise so let us take the next problem Five by x plus y minus two by x minus y is equal to minus one. Fifteen by x plus y plus seven by x minus y is equal to ten. Okay, students, so we have we have to solve these equations by reducing them into pair of linear equations. So let us write the given equations. So given equations can be written as the first one can be written as five into one by x plus y minus two into one by x minus y is equal to minus one. And the second one can be written as 15 into 1 by x plus y plus 7 into 1 by x minus y is equal to 10. Okay, so as in the in both the equations we have the denominator as x plus y and x minus y. That's why we are taking uh, these equations as like this. And now we can substitute 1 by x plus y is equal to a and 1 by x minus y is equal to B. Then these equation will become the first big of the first equation will become as 5 into a minus 2 into b is equal to minus 1, and the second one becomes 15 into a plus 7 into b is equal to 10. Okay, 5a minus 2b equal to minus 1, 15a plus 7b equal to 10. Now these are the linear equations in the variables a and b. So now we can solve these two equations. Using algebraic methods, okay. So take them as equation one and equation two. So let us solve these two equations. So in these two equations, we can observe that in the first equation, the coefficient of a is five, and in second equation, coefficient of a is fifteen. And we know that the LCM of five and fifteen is fifteen. So that we have to equate the coefficients of a to fifteen. So for that we have to multiply equation one by three. Okay, so equation one into three implies three five is a fifteen a minus three two is a six b is equal three into minus one is minus one. And in second equation we have fifteen a. So no need to multiply with any number. So take equation two directly. Fifteen a plus seven b is equal to ten. Now the coefficients of a are fifteen and fifteen. So let us subtract these two equations. Okay, I am changing the signs in second equation. Now 15 minus 15, 15a minus 15a will be cancelled, and now the remaining variable is b minus 6b minus 7b is equal to minus 3 minus 10. That is minus 13b equal to minus 13. So from this we can write b is equal to minus 13 by 13. That is b equal to 1. Now, let us substitute this value, this value in equation one or equation two. So now I am substituting this value in equation one. What is equation one? Five a minus two b equal to minus one. So by substituting b equal to one, we can write five a minus two into one is equal to minus one. That is five a minus two is equal to minus one. Five a is equal to minus one plus two. That is five a equal to one. A equal to 1 by 5. So we got the values of both a and b, but we need to we need to find the values of x and y. So here, uh, what is a? A is 1 by x plus y, and b is 1 by x minus y. Let us substitute a equal to 1 by x minus y and b equal to A equal to 1 by x plus y and b equal to 1 by x minus y. Okay, so 1 by x plus y equal to 1 by 5, and here 1 by x minus y equal to 1. So from these two equations, we can write x plus y equal to 5 and x minus y equal to 1. Now 
Now take these equations as equation 3 and equation 4. Now these are the linear equations in the variables x and y. So by solving these two equations, we get the values of x and y. So let us solve these two equations. So let us solve these two equations by elimination method. So x plus y equal to 5 and x minus y equal to 1. So let us subtract these two equations or we can add it. Add it. So x minus x is cancelled. Now y plus y, 2y is equal to 5 minus 1, 4. So 2y equal to 4. So from that we can write y equal to 2. And by substituting y equal to 2 in either of equation 3 and 4. So here I am substituting in equation 3. Then what is equation 3 here? x plus y equal to 5. So that x plus 2 equal to 5. As from this we can write x equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. Therefore, the values of x and y are 3 and 2. So, that is the solution of the given equations. Okay, yes. Now, go for sixth one. 2 by x plus 3y equal to 13 and 5 by x minus 4 by, 4 by y equal to minus 2. So, very simple. We already solved this type of problem. So, the given equations can be written as 2 into 1 by x plus 3 into 1 by y equal to 13. And similarly, second equation can be written as 5 into 1 by x minus 4 into 1 by y is equal to minus 2. And now we can substitute 1 by x equal to a and 1 by y is equal to b. Now, these equations will become 2a plus 3b is equal to 13 and the second equation will become 5a minus 4b is equal to minus 2. So, take them as equation 1 and equation 2. Now, we can solve these two equations by elimination method. So, sol solving equations 1 and 2, what is equation 1? 2a plus 3b equal to 13 and second equation is 5a minus 4b equal to minus 2 and the LCM of the coefficients of a is 2 and 5 is 10. So, we have to equate the coefficients of a to 10. So, for that we need to multiply the equation 1 by 5 and equation 2 by 2. So, equation 1 into 5 implies 5 to the 10a plus 5 to the 15b equal to 5 13 the 65 as well as equation 2 into 2 implies 2 5 are 10 a minus 2 4 is minus 8 b is equal to 2 into minus 2 minus 4. Now, let us subtract these two equations. Now, 10 a minus 10 a will be cancelled. 15 b plus 8 b is equal to 23 b and 65 plus 4 equal to 69. So, that b equal to 69 by 23 and b equal to 23 3 is up. So, that b equal to 3. Now, let us substitute this value in equation 1. Now, what is equation 1? 2a plus 3b equal to 13 and by substituting 3 in that equation, 2a plus 3 into 3 is equal to 13. That is 2a plus 9 is equal to 13. From that, we can write 2a equal to 13 by 9 which is equal to 4. So, that a equal to 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. Okay. Now, we got the values of a and b. So, what is a here? a is 1 by x. So, here we have a equal to b equal to 3, but a is 1 by x, b is equal to 1 by y. So, from that we can write 1 by x is equal to 2 and 1 by y equal to 3. As 1 by x equal to 2, then we know that simply x equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. So, the solution of the given equations is x equal to 1 by 2 and y equal to 1 by 3. Okay. So, now go for seventh one. Ten by x plus y plus two by x minus y equal to four. Comma fifteen by x plus y minus five by x minus y equal to minus two. This is like uh, the problem which we have sol solved earlier. 
which is which is like fifth one so that's why i am presenting directly just look at this and observe carefully so given equations are 10 into 1 by x plus y plus 2 into m by x minus y equal to 4 and the second one is 15 into 1 by x plus y minus 5 into 1 by x minus y equal to minus 2 and now by substituting it 1 by x plus y equal to a and 1 by x minus y equal to b the these equations will become 10 a plus 2 b equal to 4 and the second one become 15 a minus 5 b equal to minus 2 and we can solve these two equations in elimination method so take them as equation 1 and 2 so the lcm of the coefficients a and a, coefficients of a are 10 and lcm of 10 and 15 which is equal to 30 so uh, we have to equate the coefficients of a to 30 for that we need to multiply the equation 1 by 3 and multiply uh, we have to multiply the equation 2 by 2. So, equation 1 into 3 implies 3 times are 30a plus 3 twos are 6b equal 3 fours are 12. And equation 2 into 2 b implies 2 15s are 30a minus 2 5s are 10b is equal to minus to the minus 4. And let us subtract these two equations. 30a minus 30a will be cancelled. 6b plus 10b is equal to 16b and 12 plus 4 is 16 that is 16b equal to 16 from that we can write b equal to 16 by 16 which is equal to 1 now let us substitute this value in equation 1 so what is equation 1 10a plus 2b equal to 4 so by substituting b equal to 1 the equation becomes 10a plus 2 into 1 is equal to 4 that is 10a plus 2 equal to 4 10a is equal to 4 minus 2 that is 10a equal to 2 so a equal to 2 by 10 that implies a equal to 1 by 5 2 1 are 2 5 are so now we got the values of a and b a equal to 1 by 5 b equal to 1 but what is a here a is 1 by x plus y and b is 1 by x minus y so take the values a is equal to 1 by x minus x plus y is equal to 1 by 5 and b is 1 by x minus y so that 1 by x minus y equal to 1 and from these equations again we can write x plus y equal to 5 and x minus y equal to 1 again these two are linear equations in two variables x and y now let us solve these two equations so take them as equation 3 and 4 so by solving equations 3 and 4 what we get x plus y equal to 5 x minus y equal to 1 so we can directly um, subtract them x minus x will be cancelled then y plus y 2 y equal to 6 4 then y equal to 4 by 2 that is 2 now substitute this value in either equation 1 or 2 so i am substituting in equation 3 so the equation becomes 50 uh, sorry uh, 3 is x plus y equal to 5 so that the equation will become x plus 2 equal to 5 so that x equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 so the e solution of the given equations is x equal to 3 and y equal to 2 okay students so practice this type of problems very carefully the problem looking very longer but uh, it is very easy just we have to solve carefully that's all okay now let us go for eighth one eighth one is 1 by 3x plus y plus 1 by 3x minus y is equal to 3 by 4 and the second one is 1 by 2 into 3x plus y minus 1 by 2 into 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 by h so these are the equations so in both the equations we have 3x plus y and 3x minus y in the denominators so now the given equations can be written as 1 by 3x plus y plus 1 by 3x minus y equal 3 by 4 as it is and in the second equation what we have 1 by 2 can take comma isn't it 
on left hand side 1 by 2 can take common because we have 1 by 2 on both the terms so take 1 by 2 common then 1 by 2 into 1 by 3x plus y minus 1 by 3x minus y is equal to minus 1 by 8 and now this transpose this to uh, 1 uh, 2 on left side to right side then the equation becomes 1 by 3x plus y minus 1 by 3x minus y equal to minus 2 by 8 and minus 2 by 8 is equal to minus 1 by 4. So, the, the equation will can be written as 1 by 3x plus y minus 1 by 3x minus y equal to minus 1 by 4. Now, observe the two equations. First equation is 1 by 3x plus y plus 1 by 3x minus y equal to 3 by 4. And the second equation is 1 by 3x plus y minus 1 by 3x minus y equal to minus 1 by 4. So, let us substitute 1 by 3x plus y equal to a and 1 by 3x minus y equal to b. Now, the given equations will become a plus b equal to 3 by 4 and the second equation is a minus b equal to minus 1 by 4. Take them as equation 1 and 2. Now, solve these two equations by elimination method. Let us add these two equations or subtract. So, if we add these two equations, then plus b and minus will be can minus b will be cancelled. Then a plus a is 2a. 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is 3 minus 1 by 4. This is 2 by 4. So, 2a equal to 2 by 4. That is 1 by 2. So, that a equal to 1 by 4 and now substitute this a equal to 1 by 4 in equation 1 then equation 1 becomes 1 by 4 plus b equal to 3 by 4 and from that we can write b equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is 2 by 4 and which is equal to 1 by 2 ok now we got the values of a and b as a equal to 1 by 4 and b equal to 1 by 2. But what is a here? a is 1 by 3x plus y. We have taken a is equal to 1 by x plus y is equal to a and 1 by x minus y equal to b. Now, let us substitute a equal to 1 by x plus y and b is equal to, sorry, sorry a equal to 1 by 3x plus y and b is 1 by 3x minus y. So, 1 by 3x plus y equal to 1 by 4 and 1 by 3x minus y equal to 1 by 2. And from these two equations, we can write 3x plus y equal to 4 and 3x minus y equal to 2. Now, let us take them as equation 3 and equation 4 and now we can solve easily these two equations 3x plus y equal to 4, 3x minus y equal to 2 and by adding these two equations we get 6x equal to 6 and from that x equal to 1 and if we substitute x equal to 1 in either of equation 3 and 4, so I am substituting in equation 3 and then equation 3 we can write it as 3 into 1 plus y equal to 4 that is 3 plus y equal to 4 so the 4 y equal to 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 ok so ok students the solution of the equations is x equal to 1 and y, y also is equal to 1 ok that is all for today and in this exercise we still have 3 more problems which are given in verbal form so in next class we shall solve the questions. Okay. Until then, see you. Bye.